Yeah, speaking of Jared Isaacman, I thought it was interesting that, you know, he just did a spacewalk mm -hmm. in brand new SpaceX suits. And a lot of people criticized it. They're like, oh, he barely went out of the hatch. This is boring. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. What's what's the deal with this? What would you say to those people, you know, even though obviously the picture of, of your dad is probably more impressive, like this is still, you know, a pretty impressive feat. Oh yeah, no, no, no doubt about it. I, I was, I was excited to see it. I, at the time, I, I, I said it wasn't a space walk so much as it was Jared Isaacman sort of communing with space. But half his body was outside the the, uh, the spacecraft, and and he was contemplating uh, the view of Earth. And so I called it a space grok, from the old Robert Heinlein <laughs> yeah. novel. So it was the first time that uh, that that, that so-called private astronauts have done that. And and. And let's face it, I mean, private astronaut missions seem to be where it's at all of a sudden. And, and you know, more power to him. I'm, I'm glad he's doing it. I'd like to see him. Frankly, I'd like to see him and, and uh, Elon and whoever else uh, are, are interested uh, uh, redevelop uh, the jetpack. And I, I think jetpacks like the MMU, maybe souped up a little bit, could perform all sorts of functions for commercial space stations in the future. You know, not everyone's going to have a shuttle orbiter. No, not, not everyone's going to have an ISS with the, uh, you know, uh, these elaborate space structures where you can, you know, provide tethering opportunities and that sort of thing. I mean, so I, so I think eventually we'll see with commercial space, we'll see the revival of the jetpack, and if nothing else, it'll be revived for uh, for the to be the equivalent of the Segway or the scooter. I mean, people will go up there and like a scoop, you know, people going on scuba diving trips, they'll take uh, jetpack uh, excursions out from a space station or space hotel, and I think that'd be a, a blast, frankly. I feel like one of the most terrifying ideas is just to be like floating endlessly in space. So how dangerous is it, dangerous is it really to like use this jetpack and well, margin of error things could go wrong? Th there was a, there's a margin of error. I think it's hard to get a, a, a straight answer. It would have been hard to get a straight answer out of my dad. He would have said he said it was completely safe <laughs> because he helped to engineer it.